is up y'all welcome back to my channel so today i'm just gonna do a quick review on this guy right here the sky high mascara the coveted sky high mascara when i say people are selling this mascara for like 40 dollars online because you can't really find it anywhere um but i'm gonna take a quick before picture and then i'll come back and just put it on okay so i'm bringing y'all up close and personal so y'all can see what my natural lashes look like. They're a little dusty from um, my eyeshadow, but and ignore my eyeshadow. I was just going very minimal today, so it looks like trash. Um, so we're gonna open this. I got uh, the color Very Black because they didn't have Black is Black at the store that I went to. I was like, I just want the mascara, so I don't really care what color it is as long as it's black. It's not really gonna matter that much, I don't think. So I'm taking it out. Package. I like this. This is cute. But yeah, this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. So already starting off good with me. It has a spiny wand, which is what I really like because it gets in between my lashes. I don't really like fluffy brushes because my eyelashes are already like kind of fluffy. So I feel like it doesn't do anything for me. So I'm just gonna like get all in y'all's business and go in. Okay, she's already giving length. Okay, this is one. See, I want volume. I'm, I'm a volume kind of girl, so I don't know if this will be something I use all the time. For some odd reason, my eyelashes are like going in a weird direction. I'm not really feeling that. I mean, I said to myself for this uh, mascara to be this sought after, my lashes better be touching my eyebrows. We'll have to do it. They ain't there yet. I don't know, y'all. It's giving me, um, I don't know. I feel like my eyelashes look longer with other mascaras. Like, this is not the best mascara I've ever used. However, let me give it another shot on this side because this is my better side when it comes to my eyelashes. Also, this formula is a little clumpy. There's like little beads in it. I don't know if it had been sitting in the bag or, I mean, it just came out. Like they just dropped this, this uh, mascara. So it should not be old. Okay, okay, okay. And the way I apply my mascara, I kind of roll from the root to the ends of the hair. I mean, I like it. Um, is it something that should be, be being sold on Mercari for $40? No. Um, I think that like people went wild because this girl like posted a TikTok that went viral and she was like, everybody at this mascara, self included, because I, I love mascara. So she was like, everybody get this mascara. She had like no eyelashes and it like gave her eyelashes. So the wand is very flexy. I don't know if that's like on purpose or like it's cheap, but. The mascara retails for $8.98, which is not bad because I typically use like prestige products mascaras, which are like $25. So like a Benefit or Milk or um, Too Faced, Born This Way. I mean, not Born This Way, the other one. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So I need to clean up my eyelids, but I mean, we're not mad. We're not mad at all. Like, 
think i think that it's comparable to the benefit bad gal bang mascara which has a similar wand however i feel like that one gives me more volume so i mean this is a really good mascara like i'm not tripping on it but i think it deserves like an eight and a half out of ten i don't think i can give it a 10 out of 10 because it's not also giving me volume it's just like i mean it gave it gave length like my eyelashes are already long so i don't know if that if i'm a good person to try it but um i mean for $8.98, I would recommend it, but do not be that person that like buys it off of somebody else because you can't find it in store for $40. You will be disappointed. So um, yeah, that's my final review. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna clean it up and then I'm about to head out. So bye y'all. Bye y'all, camera's right there. I thought I was done, but I'm not. I'm actually a little upset because I went to like three different stores to find this and this is what it's giving me. Like, I, I don't know if it's just like a bad application. Like I just, I'm, I don't know how to put on my mascara anymore, but like I'm going in with my spoolie brush and trying to separate the hairs because I am not feeling this at all. Like. a little clumpy and I read one review that said it was clumpy and that made me a little nervous like I feel like people put so much hype on stuff on social media and then like you get it and it's trash um not saying that this particular product is trash but like if trash had a cousin I don't know I just mm, it's also like everywhere I feel like it's not drying down ignore the fact that I have a glitter in my eyebrow I cannot get it out I don't even know where it came from probably like leftover Christmas glitter or something I don't know like now I'm feeling like I need to like put lashes on and cover them up I, I don't know I'm not it's not bad but I don't think it's just, it's good I also just don't like my makeup today, so that could be like putting me in a bad mood. Maybe I'll try it again another day. Um, hmm. What do y'all think? That's what I wanna know. What do y'all think? Because, I don't know. I don't think it's giving what it was supposed to have gave. I don't know who originally said that. I think it was Roland Gray, but I say it all the time because it's funny to me, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to leave it because I got to go, but. Ugh, I feel so gray today. Like, I know that I'm not, but I just feel gray. Anyways, bye all. Be blessed. Here's a before and after. I don't feel like it's really a good representation because my eyelashes had powder in them before and they looked a little non-existent.